aliens, it's Camille and today I am finally doing my everyday wash and go hair care routine for my curly hair. And as you can see, I'm starting with straight hair, so it's going to be a little bit of a dramatic transition. This is how I wash and style my curly hair normally and the products that I use. It's so fun to have straight hair, but I was ready to get back to my curls. So the first thing I start out by doing is wetting my hair and you just want to get all of it nice and wet so then the products will spread evenly. So the first product I'm using is the Smooth Perfection Cleansing Conditioner by Pureology. And I do this because I like to co-wash my hair instead of using actual shampoo because it keeps my hair so much more moist and conditioned and it doesn't get all of the sulfates in my hair and it's just so much better for the moisture and the texture and the health of your hair. So I've been using cleansing conditioners for a while now and this just happens to be the one that I'm currently using. And it does have like a little bit of a, like a brightening, like minty kind of feel to it when you use it. But one thing to consider with cleansing conditioners is that you have to really massage your scalp and really rub it in to dislodge the dirt. Otherwise, your scalp won't feel as clean, so you definitely wanna use your fingers and scrub it up dub. I'm adding a little bit more of that to the rest of my hair. You definitely wanna focus on the scalp and then you can bring it out through the rest of the hair just really quickly, really easily, and just kinda of clean it all up. And then you're gonna rinse it out, also doing the massaging thing to just get everything off of your scalp. You just wanna gently cleanse everything away. And that's the name of the game. That's really the most important part when washing your hair, so it'll be clean. I squeeze out the excess water and then I go in with my conditioner. This is by As I Am. And it's just nice and gentle and conditioning, very moisturizing. So I like to put that in my hair afterwards. And I am leaving this in my hair. You always want to have some conditioner or moisturizing product in your hair, especially if it's curly. Because girl, I know you need that moisture. Fight that frizz, please. Save your curls. They'll be happy. You won't regret it. Next I'm going in with some Chi Tea Tree Oil and I like to add any light oil in my hair afterwards. This one's just really nice and kind of refreshing, but just any light oil on top of the moisturizing product to kind of seal in the moisture. Now I'm going in with a comb and I'm doing a side part because that's just what looks good on curly hair, my hair in general. But whatever part you're doing for your hairstyle, you would do it while it's wet, so then it will actually stay. Now I'm using my Denman brush, which is great for detangling wet hair, and it doesn't pull on it, and it feels really good on your scalp. So that's what I like to use to detangle my hair. You start from the bottom, so then you don't break any of your hair and work your way up to detangle. And don't forget to give your scalp some love, because this feels really nice on it. <laughs> Then I split my hair into two sides so it's more manageable and I go in with my Diva Curl Light Defining Gel which is a softer kind of gel that doesn't leave your hair crunchy but it definitely emphasizes all of the curls and that is why I love it. Squeeze out the excess water in your hair first though so then you don't have like watery jelly hair um, just so that the gel will kind of stay in place. You don't need all that excess water. And I like to smooth down the edges of my hair a little bit too, so then it will have no frizz on the edges and top. But then you run all the rest of the gel through the curls so that it can really just bring out the curly shape, that shape that you are looking for with your wash and go. That thing that is going to give you the perfect teeny weeny afro, the perfect, I don't even know what mine is, not an afro, it's just a, I don't know, comment down below what it is. But then I go in with my fingers and I finger detangle and spread out the gel that way so I can separate the individual curls. And I pull outwards away from my head to add more volume. And then I scrunch up the curls with my hands so then it will form the shapes better and help it dry in a more curly fashion. Instead of using a towel which adds frizz, I use a big cotton t-shirt, flip my hair over, tie it up and I use that to very gently absorb any extra moisture in my hair and it's not abrasive and frictiony like regular towels so you can just gently squeeze your hair into it get out the excess moisture while still having the product in there and not ruining your curls so I just do this to get out a little bit more water before I let my hair air dry When you're done, you just take off the t-shirt and then 
let your hair air dry the rest of the way. You can use a blow dryer diffuser combo, but heat is not good for your hair, not good for your curls, and I just really like how it dries on its own, which is less frizzy, more organic, and a lot healthier for my hair. So I just add a little last scrunch, and I'm good. It does take forever for my hair to dry, so you really gotta spend that time, dance, do some homework, live your entire life, maybe it will dry eventually. But the hard part's over and now you're just waiting for it to scrunch up. And then eventually it will end up looking like this. You will have your big curly fro and it will be super healthy and defined and you're ready to go conquer the world. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. All my other social media are linked down below as well as my vlog channel. So thank you, Chameleon, so much for watching. I wish you all a happy, healthy life, and I will see you in the next video. Kisses. Mwah.